Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, let's give this a good shuffle here. Look at this. You're getting the six of wands here. Scorpio, what is going on? I feel there's something that you're doing in your life right now where you're going to gain recognition. The spotlight is going to be on you. People are going to be drawn to you. You are going to receive either a promotion, a raise around something because of what you are doing. I feel for some of you, you have been waiting for this for a very long time. I don't know if some of you are in uh, on social media, YouTube, in the public eye, but all eyes are going to be on you here. Scorpio, get ready for this powerful energy. Um, I don't know if any of you are actors or wanting to become an actor, a musician, a public speaker, somebody that speaks. This is showing a lot of success around that, okay? So I want you to know that there is a lot of success coming, coming towards you here. Such a powerful energy. Five of Pentacles. So some of you are going through some sort of a temporary hardship right now. Perhaps this could be financial for some of you. Others, you're going through a turbulent energy at work, with family, whatever this is, it doesn't feel good. This is temporary. I feel some of you are learning a lesson through this. And spirit guides want you to know that there are many blessings coming in. This energy can sometimes bog us down. So spirit guides want you to really uh, practice being grateful for everything that you currently have in your life. Even though your life might not feel good right now, Scorpio, I want you to really put yourself in a positive space, okay? Because this is going to go away. It, and, and I feel that some of you are kind of Spirit guides are wanting you to practice patience here as well. That's what I'm getting here through this card. The Five of Pentacles energy. There's like a little bit of disappointment around this. Um, maybe there were some expectations that weren't met for some of you. Whatever this is, it's kind of putting a sour taste in your mouth here, Scorpio. So whatever is going on, hang tight, my friends. This is only temporary. Things are going to get better, okay? So know that and own that power. Look at this. <laughs> boy oh boy are they going to get better here so i feel this is uh going to whatever this is it's going to bring a lot of stability a lot of security in your life and look at all of that wealth around you so you are headed in that direction i feel that whoops some of you are actually experiencing a lesson through whatever is going on in your life through whatever hardship that you're going through scorpio okay because through that hardship it's going to it's like a blessing in disguise in a way because it's leading you towards this and i feel that you're going to come out of this experience with a superpower which is uh necessary for you to be in this position okay so think of it that way i, I do feel that some of you are going to um yeah again like the six of wands energy is there so that recognition is coming for you, Scorpio. So you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to read these in order because spirit guides want me to read this first. I feel whatever this energy is, it's there first before any of this happens. I feel some of your feeling within yourselves that the Six of Wands energy is coming in. Um, that belief system is there and hence why this is only temporary for some of you. Uh, that manifestation, that prayer, that wish is coming true for you. Uh, I'm feeling that some of you are at rock bottom with this, but this vision of the Six of Wands is keeping that faith, keeping that hope alive. All right, so this Five of Pentacles place, let me take a good look at it. There's a lot of beautiful light. There's light shining through, there's light underneath her. So know that Spirit Guides and Universe are working in your favor right now. They're aligning things for your highest good. And I feel that um, any kind of focus towards the negative of what's going on is slowing things down here. It's slowing the process down. So I want you to 
clear your minds here and really start focusing in on where it is that you're headed because when you start doing that when you start having that um clarity and vision around where it is you're actually headed then that's when when the path opens up that's when you start to see uh the messages and everything coming through from the universe here as well now the five of pentacles energy um Spirit guides are just wanting you to know that this is temporary, right? Um, I just need to look at this card here really quickly because I feel that there's something else coming through. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of worry around something as well. So I don't know what you're worrying about here, Scorpio. There's something kind of going on. Um, maybe this is a person that... I don't know if any of you have made a deal or there's a contract. Something going on with another person that has pulled away or backed out that kind of energy or you're waiting on something and that expectation wasn't met around something there's a little disappointment i'm feeling here with some of you uh, this could be around family this could be around work i'm getting that some of your workplace has shifted something maybe there's a, a a buyout i don't know what's going on here there's a lot of different there's a lot of other things coming in here like things taking away because of uh, something else coming in so this is kind of causing a little bit of worry. And some of you might be feeling like you're going through some sort of a period of bad luck right now. This is only temporary, Scorpio. This is going to get much better. I feel you're meant to go through this experience for a reason. And this in itself is a blessing in disguise for you. You don't, it doesn't feel like a blessing. Definitely it doesn't feel like anything good is going to come out of this experience, but know that there is good coming out of it. So what spirit guides want you to do right now is really ground yourselves. Even if it doesn't feel good, they're really wanting you to ground yourselves in the place that you're in. Be in the present moment gain clarity of where it is that you're headed okay don't focus on what's going on around you at this time because all of that is going to unfold as it's meant to i i feel that some of you don't have control over this so let go of the control allow yourself to really let go of things and come into a place of balance ground yourself clear your vision figure out where it is that you're going have clarity around that and then this is where the alignment's going to happen. You're going to see around you the signs, okay? You're going to see birds, Mother Earth. This is how the universe communicates with you. You're going to see the signs of the positive energy coming through. All right? And some of you are like, no, this is way too hard on me. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Scorpio, yes, you can do it, okay? Tap into that inner strength, the power of you, because you have that power within you. All right, whatever this is, I'm going to repeat it again. It's temporary. You're not meant to actually experience it for longer than what it's meant to. There's a lot of divine timing in this as well. So once you figure out what it is that you're learning, sometimes we don't figure these things out till later on in our life. I feel that some of you are going to experience the lesson of this after it actually happens and after you enter this beautiful new path. And then you're going to look back and be like, oh, I understand now some of you are already past this and you're already experiencing experiencing the stability and you're seeing the spotlight on you and you're going back and looking at sense and saying to yourself I understand why I had to go through this in order to get to this place here of the six of wands and the four of pentacles energy and this is building you up to who you're meant to be that version of yourself that's meant to stand in this position and i feel that if you're trying to control the situation too much or if you're trying to fight against whatever change it is a change that's happening for some of you it is a definitely a change that you're going through and it's a season right for some of you this is a season that has come through a season of hardship a season of uh, a period of where it feels like it's bad luck right and this is where you have to start editing and adjusting you have to start um kind of navigating your way out of this place here okay and you have to be resourceful you have to lean on support if you have it you have to look at the bigger picture of how you're going to get yourself out of this it starts with you and i'm not saying that because this is temporary that you not do anything the situation itself I, I also feel that some of you are having to stand your ground around something that you're being tested in some way this energy is now coming up so stand your ground stand in your truth 
Don't let people walk all over you here, Scorpio. And I'm not saying to be rude or mean to people, but stand in your truth. Don't let people walk all over you right now. And I feel some of you are very agreeable. And because you're agreeable, um, sometimes people can take advantage of you. So I want you to use your strength to stand your ground in what you believe in. I don't know what this energy is, but I do feel a lot of you are being tested right now around some situations. So you'll have to share with me in the comment section, okay? But know this is going to get better. And I feel for some of you, you're going to speak your truth. You're going to tell it like it is because that's the truth. So this is going to turn around because of that as well. I feel some of you are going to stand up for yourselves. And that's where that shift is going to happen for you. Okay, so don't let people ever take advantage of you. There's a nice way of going about things. You don't have to be mean, but I feel someone's being mean to you here, Scorpio. I feel there's like a bullying energy here as well. So I don't know what this is. If this isn't a workplace, if this has been going on for a long time, it's time to report this person. If this isn't in your relationship where you're feeling like your partner has been abusing you in some way, talking down to you or disrespecting you, well, that person doesn't deserve your love. That person doesn't deserve to be in your life. So you need to let go of that person. I feel that there's a lot of advantage being taken uh, of you here because you're so kind hearted. I feel for a lot of you, Scorpio, some of you are misunderstood. And there's not, I don't feel it's you. I feel it's the people that are around you. I feel it's a them problem, not a you problem. So they need to figure their end out. And you need to stand in your strength and in your power and not let people ever take advantage of you here, Scorpio. You have a beautiful heart and no one should ever take advantage of it. OK, so I don't know why I'm getting this energy. I feel some of you are going through this period of these different things going on. And Scorpio, I want you to use your own intuition here as well. As I'm pulling my cards, I want you to use your own intuition for whatever message comes through to you through this reading. We are all highly intuitive. And uh, I feel spirit guides are going to bring you messages through this reading that you on your own will receive. OK, and look at this beautiful energy. You're about to rise above the rest. I feel some of you are going to stand out at work because you spoke up for the people at work. Perhaps you're in the public eye and you're going to do something around uh, negativity that might be around. And you're trying to make a difference in the world. You're going to stand up here. I'm just seeing such a beautiful energy. I want to cry here. Um, it's so powerful. And you're meant to rise here, Scorpio. I feel that a lot of you are working towards something where you're going to gain recognition. And really that, that spotlight is going to be on you. And this could be just you in your own life shining that spotlight on yourself and seeing the beauty in yourself, the beauty in what you can create for yourself and standing in that power and being proud of yourself. I'm also getting that some of you are going to be promoted or given a raise in some way around what like, like income is going to come in because you're getting that stability here through the four of uh, pentacles. And this is kind of what you're trying to create in your life as well. Stability, independence, that freedom, that place where you don't have to worry about money, where you don't have to rely on people or other things like a job even. I feel that some of you are trying to break free from your nine to five. And that's that hardship that maybe you're going through that lull right now as you're kind of figuring things out in your life. And you're trying to work towards something and maybe things are a little bit low, but this is temporary because things are going to grow. You are going to go like this, uh, Scorpio, you're going to rise up. I don't feel there's a low period coming in here. If you stand strong in your power, you are going to rise. And that belief in yourself. I feel some of you kind of are really um, rooting yourselves in the place that you're in and rising. I feel some of you have shifted things in your life. Uh, maybe you have started uh, taking care of yourself and people are seeing the results of that. So now all eyes are on you. Some of you have really uh, come into this place where you are physically starting to look really good. And I'm seeing some of you jogging down the street and you're seeing eyes on you. And this is feeling really good. That confidence, the buildup of the confidence is there as well. So I feel some of you are really hitting the gym. You're changing your diet and, and with this. And it's because you were in a place where maybe you weren't feeling good about yourself, right? And you wanted to change things. So you're taking charge of it. I feel a lot of you are taking charge of your life you're taking responsibility 
for your choices and the things that you're doing in your life and hence why you are rising above the rest. I also feel that you're not worried about what people think of you and that that energy of other people is now not affecting you. You built this like guard up for yourself, which is a healthy guard, healthy boundaries. So things that people say to you now don't affect you in turn, which is making you much more powerful. It's helping you gain more confidence and it's making you more braver. I feel some of you are taking risks, taking that leap of faith and doing things out of the norm, which is in turn creating a different life for you. So a lot of things that you're doing here, Scorpios. Way to go, my friends. Give me a high five here. My goodness. So I feel here that... Um, whether you're a musician, an actor, creative, something that you're doing creative, that recognition is coming in as well. A lot of uh, uh, energy coming towards you. This is what I'm feeling. Opportunities, things coming towards you that are going to level you up. Connections. I'm also getting connections here. So be vulnerable uh, to new connections. Obviously, have your guards up. I feel you're highly intuitive right now. Uh, so when people come into your life, use your intuition because you're going to know whether this person is good for you or bad for you. You're going to know it instantly through your gut instincts, okay? Have those healthy boundaries up. Don't allow people to ever take advantage of you. Scorpio. And don't be, spirit guides want you to be agreeable, but not so much that people start taking advantage of you. Because I feel that you're one of those people that you're highly passionate, right? And this passion can come in many, many forms. And I feel you give a lot of yourself. You're a very kind human being, but you don't let anyone cross you in any way, right? So this is a very interesting energy because yes, people can take advantage of you. But when you recognize that they're taking advantage of you, you will sting those people, right? Like get away from me. Don't allow this. And that stinger, it's not so painful. It's just in a nice way that you let them know right so i'm getting this energy here as well so a lot of a lot of good is coming towards you a lot of blessings a lot of abundance a lot of people a lot of connections all right so i want you to embrace this energy of these connections because i feel there's a new path opening up through connections and, and this energy within you this new confidence newfound confidence that you have as well scorpio is also helping you rise up this belief in yourself i feel a lot of you have regained belief in yourself where you believe that you're able to do anything you ever wanted and that's what's actually shifting your life as well so look at that look at you go oh my goodness and the stability really grounding yourself i feel for some of you you have come into this new place where you're not spending money recklessly that you're actually starting to um be wise with your money investing where it needs to be invested in yourself this is you taking a uh, skill sets really investing in yourself and your growth here scorpio so if you're going to spend money don't spend it recklessly i do feel some of you're really um really focusing in on not spending uh recklessly here um even taking things in your home that no longer serve your purpose selling those off and really i'm seeing increase in wealth here big time like really really a lot of money coming in like look at you surrounded by wealth and this is you manifesting your dreams so i want you to visualize what this is for you in your material world so what I'm seeing here is a big grand home. I'm seeing like Lamborghinis, Porsches. So if you're into that, I see that coming into fruition. If you're into a place of living a happy, love, joyous life, this is coming in for you as well, because I feel some of you are not worried about the wealth aspect. You're more, more concerned about happiness, true happiness, living in alignment with your higher purpose. So I see this happening, but I also see abundance following along with that. However, that's going to come into your life. This is major abundance. This is you building that empire. This is you really focusing in on that financial independence. This is you living a, your life on your terms here, Scorpio. So I do feel this is coming into fruition and you're seeing the, the results of your hard work. This is really that work that you're putting into yourself, into your material world to gain that abundance and it's coming in in a big big way here you're going to be secure in life here scorpio so know that and own that power okay and not 
spirit guides are also seeing some of you kind of this this hoarding energy so if you're somebody that loves to hang on to things it's now time to release yourself from that you're going to see abundance through this as well because as you're letting this go there's new energy coming in because when you hoard or hold on to things you almost bring in this uh, energy of stagnation right because what are you doing with a bunch of stuff right that's just sitting there not doing anything especially if you're someone that's unless you're collecting antiques or something like that right um, but I feel that there's a lot like I see a pile of things so you can sell these off and build wealth through that as well like your money will go up so I'm seeing a lot of uptick in your uh, finances in your bank accounts like I'm seeing bank accounts going up so know that this is coming towards you here my friends i'm now going to pull your bonus card scorpio so those of you that have been seeing mother nature all around you this is going to be your confirmation being in the present moment and being aware of everything that is around you is also very helpful because you'll see the signs from the universe you'll see the messages that are coming through so anytime you see something pull up your google search the spiritual spiritual meaning for that whatever it is that you're seeing dragon supernatural oh my gosh have any of you seen a dragon recently because if you have this is your confirmation and if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now on your screen let me read this to you you are the ancient ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity look at that what a powerful powerful card for you today scorpio i'm now going to pull the interpretation from the guidebook for dragon let's see what we get here for you dragon all right scorpio dragon is a mysterious powerful and dynamic totem it is the shamans and magicians wisest ally dragons are pure conscious energy and can shape shift at will all four elements have dragons air dragons control intellect reason and illumination Air dragons, oh sorry, fire dragons harness creativity, passion, and mastery. Water dragons are depth, insight, and intuition. And earth dragons rule wealth, riches, and manifestations. This is aligning the I, fire dragon. This is the fire dragon in your life. This is all the wealth, riches, and manifestations here for you. If you are drawn to dragon, you are called to step into your highest potential, Scorpio. You can lift yourself up from mundane struggles and become liberated from the common life. Are you ready? Are you ready to do it? The winged dragon is symbolic of transcendence, freedom and higher consciousness. It is a symbol for emperors and kings. If dragon is your totem, you are marked for power. Look at that. Use it well. A powerful, a purposeful life is your greatest treasure. Your wings are both... Your wings are your breath, your body and your body, the earth, the water, your blood and the fire is your eternal spirit. Let your life rise from the ordinary to become the extraordinary. Look at that. What a beautiful message. What a powerful message for you. So remember, this is only temporary. You're meant to rise up. All right. So that is your message through the bonus card. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get for you today, Scorpio. Number three, I am charismatic. So if you've been seeing threes everywhere, know that you are charismatic. And some of you are going to gain the superpower of charisma. Let me read this to you. Expression comes natural to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. So look at that. Charismatic. That's what you are, Scorpio. So own that power. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.